I have here is actually a Traxxas Slash 4x4. I decided to do the Monster Conversion Kit after I saw the J-Concepts uh, Slash 4x4 Monster Truck. But J-Concepts is about $125 plus shipping for me to get it. So I'll, I just kind of went to my tire bin, grabbed up some four, uh, four Claude Buster tires, had the old Ford pickup truck body already there. Um, my Slash 4x4 uh, I bought used but came with RPM mounts, body mounts, and so uh, all I got was the Parma body mount adapters. The long ones, I believe they're 4.5 inch and 4 inch. I put that on. Uh, I took this suspension, I put it more directly up and down, both front and back. I have Proline suspension front and rear on this, so this thing handles really, really well. The tires are a little on the hard side because they are the Claude Buster tires, but uh, I have made them a little softer by using WD-40 and uh, drilling some extra holes in the tires and rims, or sorry, in the rims themselves. You can see that video, I'll try to leave a uh, link in the description, I've done that before. Um, and if you notice, some of the stuff is apart. So the reason being is, the reason why, I should say, is I kind of broke it. <laughs> so with the, the stock tracks of Slash 4x4, what I was using was a stock uh, Millennium system. Now this is a really good system. I have no complaints about this system for everyday bashing, but I found that it uh, it doesn't perform very well on a monster truck. And I guess the reason why it does, uh, or what I'm trying to say, is it cogs a lot. Now if you're unfamiliar with cogging in a brushless motor, it seems to stutter and shake and just kind of rattle at low speeds until it gets a couple of revolutions uh, on the, the electric motor. Once that happens, then you have no problem. Now, the Lenium system has gobs and gobs of power. It will, will do catwalks and snow, no problem. But the problem is that cogging is very difficult on the drivetrain. And particularly, I don't know if you can see this, but that is my spur gear. This is a 54 four tooth. This is a stock plastic gear. And basically, there's two things that I was having a problem uh, with it. I believe with the cogging, I couldn't actually get my pinion to stay on. Uh, it kept coming apart, and then it actually tore and shred uh, this gear here. So I'm, I, I was trying to think, what can I do? Of course, I mean, you can't leave anything stock, and this slash is kind of far from stock anyway. But again, I bought it used, so I figured, what the heck. So I use Great Hobbies up here in Canada. They're really, really good. Fast uh, shipping, good prices. And so I ended up picking up a Savix, Savox, Savix uh, Servo. And this is, uh, part number is this? SW0230MG. This is my first Savox that I've had. I've uh, been wanting to try these for a while. This one is the waterproof one, so I'm looking really forward to uh, not have to worry about it. Now the stock Traxxas one is actually waterproof as well, but it's all plastic gears on the inside. This one's all metal, and I think that's pretty cool. I believe it is built, uh, oh, made in Taiwan, but it says on the website that it's actually from recycled products, which I think is awesome. Uh, save our planet when we can, for sure, right? Um, another thing I got, part number 6877, uh, the clear cover that just kind of covers your uh, pinion and uh, spur gear is getting really, really delicate on this one, so I just bought a black one, nothing exciting about that. Uh, to fix this problem, I actually picked up a Robinson's Racing uh, slipper clutch with gear, so it is a 54 tooth as well but now it's all metal, comes with bearings, some awesome stickers. This is my first Robinson Racing, uh, other than spur gears, uh, that I've ever bought. I've never bought a super clutch. I've never really needed it. Um, but this this guy likes to tear apart a lot of different things. I had actually had to buy a uh, aluminum motor mount as well. So this guy right here because it just kept tearing out the plastic ones. So 
it was just a, a, a nightmare. And I also found that um, I went back just to a normal uh, slipper clutch design because the other version, uh, which escapes my brain right now, uh, uh, just kept blowing it apart. So anyway, so and last but not least, what I decided to go for is the Sidewinder short course version. Castle, I've only have, actually my first castle system was in my Axial Yeti. I was very impressed with it. It just got gobs of power, worked really well. And then I decided to put my second castle system into my, there it is right there, my buggy. And that works absolutely amazing. There's my Yeti over here. I'm just making another kit. So I actually bought, uh, I got an RTR and then I actually bought the kit. So that's going to be just kind of coming together. Um, anyway, I'm very, very pleased with uh, Castle Creations. This uh, retails around 100 Canadian dollars right now at the time of the video. About 160 bucks, and I got it for 124 bucks. It's waterproof. It has a cooling fan, 2 to 3S LiPo. Uh, it's got sensorless operation on the motor, I believe, but the ESC is not sensorless. And of course, you can also use the, the capsule tuner if you have that as well. I find it just works straight out of the box. It's plug and play. It doesn't work, or it doesn't uh, doesn't give you any problems. So this is the kind of last item on my list. Uh, part number on this one is. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There. Grab that or not? Uh, zero one zero dash zero one two three dash zero two. So yeah, and uh, just in case you didn't get to see the Robinson Racing, I don't think I said the part number. So it is actually I think seven eight five four. Not wearing my glasses, you know I'm getting old when. So yeah, and this is the uh, Gen 3 slipper unit. Um, I'm excited to have Gen 3. I don't know what the difference between Gen 1 and 2 is, but you can't go wrong. This is going to be... It's, I'm trying to make this thing bulletproof. So it's got plastic drive lines now, so uh, that's where I'm hoping the failure is going to be instead of into the motor compartment area. Anyway, so I just kind of wanted to give uh, a quick... I can't say really update because this is the first time you've seen this on my channel, but uh, I thought this was kind of a, a neat project to do. J Concepts is, I, I love their monster truck stuff. I, I like all their, their products are great, but I mean, if you can save some money and uh, just make a really cool trick monster truck, I'm all for that as well. So, I mean, you add all this stuff up together, it's still cheaper than it would be to buy um, chassis kit and then the tires and wheels from them now uh, that being said the back space on the back tires on the quad buster uh, wheels are not quite centered right I had to do some modification on the front C hubs on this they are RPM on this so I just took a Dremel and just Dremel them down uh, if you didn't want to do that of course J concept sells that separately but you know what it's just I love tinkering and this is a lot of fun so I figured I'd just go ahead and do that I can always replace that stuff that's easy to come by. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Uh, Christmas uh, 2017 is just around the corner. So, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody if I don't uh, post a video until then. And I will talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye.